Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. That's how the saying usually goes. But a Swiss company is doing things a little different. It's now offering special diamonds made from ashes. Executives say it's the perfect way to remember a loved one. To find out more about this, we joined from our Cape Town studios this morning by Keith Cron from Algodanza, South Africa. Keith, good morning and uh, thanks very much uh, for your time. You've only been in South Africa, from what I've heard, for a short while. Uh, what made you think that this idea will be accepted in South Africa? Good morning to you too, Dan, and thank you very much for having me. Um, the reason why I know it will be so successful is because it's in line with global citizens. The world is becoming smaller as we know it. There's less and less space for graves. We are running out of space. And when we are traveling from place to place, some people relocate. It's hard to revisit that grave or keep it up, um, which can also become costly. With a diamond, you can make a jewelry out of it. You can make a ring and then carry your loved one close by you forever and ever as long as you live. You know, in South Africa, people are very particular about how they honor the dead and they want to keep uh, their memory alive. You've been here for a short while. Uh, is it being taken up in South Africa? Are people warming to it? There's been a vast amount of interest so far, and it's actually been overwhelming. Um, it's been very, very positive. I, I'd realized that South Africa is a conservative market, generally speaking, but particularly here in the Western Cape, I've seen uh, more, more demand than I expected. Um, so very pleasantly surprised and happy to help yeah. uh, people mourn uh, their grief, yes. Are you finding that more and more people are being cremated in South Africa now? Absolutely, um, and that once again, it, it goes in, in line with the fact that we are running out of space. Um, Look, uh, for, for, I, I understand traditionally a lot of people do get bury and, and that's fine as well, but um, you, you, we're, we're running out of space and, and this is a perfect way to, to just uh, keep your family close by. Who's your, who's your target market here really, Keith? I mean, the majority of South Africans can't even afford to put food on the table. Hmm. Sure. Um, the, you know, obviously our market is very, very niche. Um, it's, it's based at... Um, you know, sort of the upmarket clientele, our, our, our diamonds start at around 60,000 Rand. However, if you compare it to a traditional funeral, um, you know, there are a lot of expenses there as well. You've got the coffin, you have the, the catering companies, you have a lot of other expenses to take into account. 60,000 Rand suddenly then does not become a lot or is not a lot compared to some of these traditional, you know, funerals. So I think. Given some time, uh, when people are more informed about it and, and are able to make informed decisions, now it's only do I get buried or cremated. Now you can be cremated and become a memorial diamond. So the options are there for you now. Okay, have you had any orders yet? We have had a lot of orders so far. Um, we're busy processing them at the moment. Um, it takes some time to create these, mo these, these, these diamonds, as it is a very special surface. We are recreating the natural forces that occur within the Earth's crust uh, at ground level. So we're dealing with 60,000 bars of pressure and 1,400 degrees Celsius to make these stones. Um, we're looking at roughly from reception of ashes to delivering of the diamond at about six months, roughly. Yeah. It, what kind of diamond is this that, that eventually comes out? Very briefly, you just talk to us about the process. Sure. Um, as we're sitting here, there's about 20% carbon inside our bodies. When we are cremated, we are left between 1% and 5%. What we do then is we isolate this carbon out of the ashes and try and get it as pure as possible. We then use this to um, produce or make the memorial diamond. Um, and depending on the size that the uh, client or the client's family, in, in most cases, uh, then we, it takes, uh, depends on how long it will take, yes. Okay. Is the diamond real? Yes, the diamond is real. It has the same physical, chemical, and optical properties of a real diamond. Um, you, you know, you can independently go to a jeweler or someone near, nearby and ask them to tell you, is this a diamond? And I'm that confident that they will come back and tell you it's a diamond. <laughs> okay, now just globally, just for, for information, you, you, the company is based in Switzerland. How busy is their factory on, on these diamonds? Right. Um, the, 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 the company Algodanza was founded by Ronaldo Willy in uh, 2004. Every single year we are increasing our, our 
production by about 10% roughly. Um, we're now currently producing over 1,000 stones in a year, globally speaking. So we have six machines there that are running 24-7 around the clock producing these memorial diamonds for the families. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, that's Keith Krohn from Algodanza, South Africa.